Guys, I really cannot believe I haven't done this already. I made a video about angel numbers and how it's a cycle of one through nine. So I am going to write this out. I'm going to see how this applies to my life. I know there are multiple ways and multiple levels, multiple sizes in which these cycles take place, but I just thought of something and I want to see if this applies. How do you divide a circle into threes? Mmm, that is so satisfying. I love that. Okay. So 111 is intuition. Today is actually January 11th. 111. Crazy shit. But this is intuition. This is creation. This is connection. This is protection, angels, change, choices. Jackpot, recognition or holiness, and the end of the cycle, uh, new beginnings. So I just did something. I took an action. So we're starting here for this one. I took an action, which was aligned with a certain choice. I made this choice. It's this period right here that I just became curious about while I was laying on my bed. This period here is the waiting period. The, the six and a half, right in between six and seven. We make this choice. Everything aligns. This jackpot moment hasn't come in yet for the actions that I just took. So it's almost as if this cycle here is moved over to the side, in the background, in my subconscious. And then I move on to other one through nine cycles. Maybe after I did this action and I wait for the reward to come in and for the recognition of that reward, and then moving on to the new cycle that this action caused, This gets moved to the side. I move on to a new one through nine cycle. I live my life. Next thing you know, it's like, it's like a, a bun in the oven. Ding! That jackpot moment hits. Everything aligns according to the action that I took, the choice that I made. And it's based on my intuition. The gathering of information or knowledge using my two eyes. When I connect these, it's as if I am guided by my angels to take these actions, make that choice I made, and then see that reward manifest into my life. 222 two, two, and 555, five, 777. Which, by the way, this morning I woke up at 333. Three, three, and I was awake long enough to see 444. Four, four. Today is just one of those 777 seven, seven kinds of days. And I'll tell you why. I was embodying my, my true self, embodying my personality. I'm done acting like somebody that I think everybody else wants me to act like. I'm done doing what's popular for the sake of attracting other people. I am instead doing me and I will attract more people aligned with me. So where was I? Okay, I took that action based on the guidance from my angels. Uh, I explained all of this. That jackpot moment hasn't quite come in yet, but it will. And then I will recognize this jackpot moment I will see the holiness of the situation. I will see God's work being done in my life. Because this number is in is all of these. 111 through 77 exists within this 888. And then the new cycle. New beginnings. Because of these actions I took here, I am stepping into a new I new intuition, new information to gather. Most likely I've taken a change that has affected my environment 
or will affect my environment once I go through a certain number of cycles. So I have this new intuition. I have a new eye. I have changed because of these actions I took. I have then changed my environment or the world around me. And once I connect these, once I connect my intuition with this new information, I can then use that. And using that is the same as being guided by our angels. Being guided divinely, you could say. And then I take actions that relate to this I that I am. And if these choices align with that I, then I continue in this cycle. Now, usually when I mention cycles, I don't want to be stuck in a cycle. However, because of the choices I made, this cycle is good for me. Now, I'll get very personal with you all and tell you exactly what I'm talking about. It's so simple too. I made a I did a few things actually. First of all, I was getting so upset just laying on my bed, scrolling through dating apps, and trying to be somebody that these girls would like. I realized as I was sitting on the couch yesterday watching Brave that I don't want to be a person who is scrolling on dating apps all the time and just sitting around. I want to be somebody who takes meaningful action, not just repetitive action. You see, that's the flip side of 666. 333 and 333. Six. Which mind, body, and spirit am I going to step into? Am I going to step into this mind, body, and spirit that my mind chooses to scroll on these dating apps and my body takes the action of scrolling on those dating apps and my spirit is just left disappointed, upset, malnourished, you could say? Or am I going to step into the mind, body, and spirit of that I that version of me, that my, that spirit, my spirit, that version of me that I want these people to be attracted to. See, while I was scrolling on these apps and living a lame, hopeless life, I was like, why are these people not attracted to me? I want to be this, this, and this, and this. You see, I was using this event, this 777 moment that hadn't come into my life yet, I was looking forward to this 777 moment. But to reach that 777, that's a lot of sevens, to reach that jackpot moment, I forgot the whole one through six cycle. Oh my God, this is seriously going to change my fucking life. I'm going to use this write this down on paper, make it permanent, and just recognize it every day. Screw the 1 through 12 clock or the 1 through 24 clock. Nah, I'm on my own time now. I'm on I time, you see, because my intuition led me to recognizing this. So, Part of the me that I wanted other people to be attracted to, that that seven 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 moment, or I guess that three 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 that I wanted people to recognize, that I wanted people to see me as, I wasn't embodying that. So now I am choosing to embody it. And check this out. I'm telling you, either I'm just creative as hell, or this stuff actually makes sense. I'm embodying this mind, body, and spirit. So by embodying my mind, body, and spirit, I, two, 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 manifest that life, that version of I. Five, five, five. I take those right actions. So now I haven't, I have never done this before. So now we have three, three, three plus two, two, two. 
I'm stepping into that I through my choices. So now we have the I, we have 222, because I'm manifesting the life of this mind, body, and spirit here. I'm making the right choices. And what is that going to lead to? The jackpot moments that I have been hopelessly waiting for. The only difference is I'm no longer hopelessly waiting for anything. I am taking actions and enjoying these actions that I'm taking because I'm following or listening to my spirit. Now, as this cycle is moved to the side, as that bun in the oven is waiting to just go, ding! While those angels bring in these holy rewards to me and are going to soon give me the opportunity to recognize these holy rewards, I just continue with these actions and these choices. I continue leading that cycle. It's almost as if I don't even go to 999. Instead, I just go 1 through 6, 1 through 6, 1 through 6. My spirit keeps making these choices, and it's like a bank almost. Every 1 through 6 cycle builds up, and then all of a sudden it gets to that 777 moment. It's like filling up a cup. That 1 through 6 cycle is you filling up the cup. Now, think about this. If you're making bad choices, that 1 through 6 is going to fill up, and then once that cup overflows or pours out, you're going to experience trauma. I have experienced this so hard. April 20, April 20th, 2020, I was devilish. I was making selfish choices. If you've seen my angel number video, you'll know that 555, I came up with this conclusion because of my five fingers. So with 666, this is the theoretical question. If you had a sixth finger, would you use it to take more or would you use it to give more? So I was taking, I was using people as utilities rather than recognizing them for the unique, beautiful individual that they are. So my 777 moment came in the form of a panic attack that completely changed my life. And one thing I forgot to mention in that angel number video, I played with a bucket of slime that was $8.88. The next day I was just playing with this bucket of slime, keeping myself grounded with the slime. Because I was on to a new beginning. I had to understand my new I. I had to see the world in a different way. My mind, body, and spirit, my identity, as we would call it, had changed forever. And this is when I started recognizing my angelic guidance. And that angelic guidance led me to make nicer choices. Or sorry, take nicer actions. And these nicer actions led to nicer choices. I was literally given emotions, I swear to you. I was, I became em empathetic. And these aligned so well that I now live a beautiful life in South Carolina. I can go to the beach when I want to. I am free and I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful. That's my 888, the recognition, 111. Or sorry, let's put it this way. I always do 111 and 777, but let's look at it this way. I finally see with my two eyes the life that I have manifested myself because of these choices, 222 and 666, making the 888, the recognition. And 999, I'm on to new beginnings. I am making changes in my life. Or sorry, better put, my life is changing. So, a question that I'll ask all of you. How is your life changing? Is it changing in the way that you want it to? Or is it changing not much? Is it staying the same? Because if you get into a cycle long enough, it might wear you out. It might wear down. I mean, imagine running a circle around this. Eventually, you're going to see the track marks of your shoes. It's going to be all burnt out. <laughs> Burnout. Are you getting burnt out of these cycles that you've been in? Or are you living a prosperous life where new beginnings are 
greeting you every single day. This is why I like to implement change so much into my life. This is why one of my most impactful videos on this channel was trying something new every day. Check it out, it's way down, way down. I lived in Ohio at this point, and I mean seriously, see how much I've changed. I can look back and see all of these one through nine cycles. And sure, there were times where I chose the good one through nine cycles, and then there were times where I chose bad one through nine cycles, and then there were good, bad, good, bad. It's like I'm, it's like a wave. This 111 through 999 clock can seriously change your life if you allow it. It sure as hell is changing mine. I cannot believe I haven't thought about writing in this way and actually visualizing these cycles in my life. Because this is happening to you right now. I know it is. This is a universal thing. This is something that applies to literally everybody, okay? I'm not saying it's truth. Truth is relative to the individual that chooses to believe that it's truth. It's your choice. Peace out. I freaking love you, dude. Mm -hmm.